what's going on guys welcome back to another video before we get into this video you guys i need to let you guys know that if you're not following my twitch you're missing out on awesome content hit the link in my description follow me on twitch like comment subscribe to your favorite part of the video get notified when i post a video and when i go live on twitch tune in drop a follow say hey in the chat we'll see you in there with less further ado let's get into this video what's going on guys welcome back to another tutorial video today guys i'm coming to you guys with a tutorial that's going to probably help your stream if you like it if not then you really don't have to use it if you guys haven't checked out my recent video go ahead check out my recent video click the little icon that's right here i don't know what it's there for but click that little icon and then it'll take you to my recent upload for the best stream settings of 2020 to my preference i think but with less further ado guys let me go ahead and get into and tell you guys what we are doing today so today guys we're going to be creating this here anime animation logo for your stream settings i will show you guys how it looks on the stream and what it does and, and how to make it so what you want to do you want to go ahead and open up your stream labs or your obs which whatever you use i prefer to use stream labs and once stream labs is open you will notice that at the top i have a transparent version of my name up here if you guys do not know what black stand for i am glow navy black a lot of people call me glow navy but i prefer black this is why i have black as you can see i have the little lightning and the thunderbolts going around my name and the name is the font imprint is black also but anyways guys we're gonna teach you how to make this. So first guys, what you wanna do, you wanna just go ahead and open up your Adobe After Effects. As you guys can see, I already have this right here and this is what I was working on right here. So if you guys see how I have it like this, and this is like the final the final touch of it. You have the purple Thunderbolts and then you have the yellow, th you have the yellow coming in as well too, which is nice. But I'm gonna teach you guys how to do this. So let's go ahead and open up a new one, a new tab. We're gonna open up a new project. We're not gonna save that one because we really don't need it. So let's go ahead and open it up and we're gonna do tests again. So first thing you wanna do when you open this up, you wanna go ahead and click on the type. So once you go ahead, you wanna go ahead and create your little box. And then once you create your box, you wanna just go over here and you just wanna create, you just wanna find you a little a little font that you like a font that's somewhat simple well, somewhat simple or somewhere that people can read so me i'm going to go ahead and just probably run with um we'll just choose berlin so at berlin you just want to go here you just want to type in whatever you want to type in you just may want to i'm going to just type test boom okay well we'll put it in caps test bam so after that you just want to go here you want to drag this to the middle so once you have it dragged to the middle to where you're working on it, you can zoom in, zoom out, see where you want it at. And then next you want to do, you want to come down here to the bottom left. You want to right click here. You want to go to create and you want to create mask from test. So once you create the mask from test, you want to go ahead and click on the test outlines and then come over to effects. Type in Saber. I already have it installed. This will be another, this will be something else that you have to install. This is the add-on and I will have the add-on link to the Saber in my description. So you just want to go ahead and drag the saber over to test outlines and then once you have that you will see that this long you have this line right here so next you want to just go over here to customize core you want to click on core type and then once you want to do that you go to layer mask so once you see a layer mask you'll see that it is bright and with that we can easily turn that down with the glow the glow intensity and then once you see you will see you'll have this nice beautiful blue saber like letters and then with the core size, as you can see, it's kind of like big. So you can probably turn this down a little bit too, to where it looks even more, even more better and fully visible. Next, you can go up to presets and in presets, there's a lot, there's a lot guys. I can't stress how much cool little animations there is right here. You have star killer, you have energy, you have ghostbusters there so there's a lot of things that you guys can use so like this ghostbuster is a nice one i like this ghostbuster you can just turn it down a little bit and you can see how it looks if that's what something that you want preferably i would choose the electric because the electric gives it that look to where it's just something that you would just want 
you you can see how the electric looks on it and then you can zoom in on it again and turn down the core size a little bit you could come out and you see how how it looks and with the glow spread around it, you could also turn that down going by here going to glow spread and just kind of like toning it down a little bit if you want that's that's your preference i like it like this which is even way better so the animated version of it will look like this and this how it will look on your stream so next to add a different color click the test outlines you want to hit Control c and then Control v which will put another one and then you just want to choose which one you want to change the color to so okay we worked on this one so we're going to go ahead and change this one and we're going to select another effect and we're going to use energize and with energize it gives it this nice little look so first off you know we're going to have to turn down the core intensity to make it look good and then turn down the core size so it doesn't be too fat and then the next thing you want to do you want to go ahead and come to the spread and turn the spread down a little bit so now you have this nice awesome effect so next you guys when you now it's time to animate it and change the colors well the colors are already changed it's time to animate it so what you guys want to do you guys want to come down here you guys want to make sure you click on this make sure this is blue and then you guys want to come over to mode on both the test outlines click add and do you want to come to the second one and do you want to click add too and then with the first one you want to go ahead and click on it to highlight it and then come up to end offset you want to click on the times the time step in the beginning and then you want to go ahead and try probably change this to i would say 15. i would change it to 15 and then you want to go ahead and click the second one and you want to click the end offset and you want to go ahead and probably put this to 30. so make it look half so you guys will see it'll be like this you guys really can't fully visualize it but when it's done you guys will like it so you want to go back up to the first one and you want to just come about like how long you want it you could come by like i would say three seconds and then go back up to end offset and you could do 100 boom so you'll have that then you do the same thing for the bottom one and you'll come here and you'll put three you'll put 100 boom so now it will look like this so you, you can see how bright it is you could probably turn the intensity down a little bit more so you, it doesn't get that bright for you guys you could just probably come down here and turn the intensity down a little bit more boom so it looks it, it looks okay so now you guys will see that when it comes when it comes out it will come out like this you guys can't really fully see it and my rendering sucks so you guys will see that it will spell out the test and as as it's done it'll come out and it'll fully look like this now to in order to put this on your stream you need to have it as a transparent background you need to go ahead and select this transparent this transparent grid and then once you want once you're done with it and this is how you feel i mean you can add another color if you guys want you guys also you just have to go here and just control c then control v and then just change and then change like the animation if you want or you could use the same one if you want and then just go here and you could change the color if you want to so next you guys want to go ahead and as you can see well next you guys want to go ahead and open up the eye and, and open up the eye on, on the test so as you guys can see right here right here so you guys could just go see how the animation works around the letters and it could just be just like that on your stream if you want you could also change the color of this too if you want to i prefer white since this is the test but when you guys get into it you guys get a feel of how to do it you guys could be able to change the color too so next you guys you just want to go ahead and click export and you want to go ahead and add to render queue and with render queue you just want to come right here to output mode lossless and then avi and then from none from, from right here you want to lead you want to lead us to none and then from channels you want to go ahead and click rgb plus alpha this is what makes it transparent and then once you guys are done you guys want to just go ahead and click ok and then once you go ahead and click OK from the output, you want to go ahead and pick where you want it saved. See me, I'll have mine saved in my D drive, so I'll go ahead and click save. And once you guys click save, you guys want to come over here to render and you guys want to go ahead and click render. And then once it renders and stuff like that, you will get done. It will be done and it's just going to go ahead around. It's going to go around the whole clip of it. It's going to go around the whole clip and it's going to go up to how much you had it section for. 
and right here your current render it will tell you your current render how much gigabytes how much gigabytes is going to be at the end and where it's at with it this is 13 gigabytes but it's really not going to be 13 the reason why it's 13 gigabytes is because i rent i'm rendering a whole like 30 second clip i didn't chop it i, I didn't chop it to where it's like three seconds but i'm not using this so i'm going to stop this render because i'm not using this one but for you guys you guys will have to chop it at a certain amount so if you guys want if you guys only wanted to run for four seconds or three seconds you guys will have to chop it at the three second mark or the four second mark so i'm going to go ahead and stop this and i'm going to go ahead and close this out so i'm going to go ahead and close this out and then once you're done with it and you have it you guys just want to go ahead and open up your streamlabs obs and once you open up your streamlabs obs i'm going to teach you guys how to add it in to streamlabs so once you have streamlabs obs opened up you just want to go into your end game source and you guys want to just go ahead and click this plus sign and you guys want to go ahead and click media once you click media you want to you want to make sure that whatever you exported it as whatever you exported it as on adobe after effects you guys got to make sure streamlabs is able to to run it so streamlabs media streamlabs obs is able to run most files as you guys can see but a standard export from adobe after effects is basically avi so you guys are going to go ahead and be okay so you guys want to go ahead and add the source and when you guys add the source you want to just go ahead and add a new source and then just name it and then once you name it you guys want to just add the source once you add the source you just want to browse and when you browse the file you just want to look for that file so my file is right here so i would just look for black 7 avi so i'll go ahead and click open and it'll pop up right here so once it pops up right here you click ok and then it'll pop up just like this on your screen and then you guys could go ahead and place it oh you always you also want to click the loop i forgot that you also want to click loop because if you don't click loop it'll go away so you guys want to just go ahead and have it out and you guys can place it anywhere you want and then you guys can go ahead and size it up if you guys want you can have it on to the right the left the middle i prefer mine's in the middle at the bottom wherever you guys want to have it but that's it for this video guys i go hope you guys enjoyed it if you guys haven't followed my twitch make sure you guys follow my twitch my link is in the description more tutorial videos will be coming around the more that i figure out on how to do i will put more tutorial video guys out there for you guys i appreciate you guys hit the like subscribe comment follow my social medias all my social media links are in the description follow me on twitch i go live every day schedules from 11 a.m to 3 p.m pacific time so i will see you guys next video peace